Hello, we're back again, but this time we're at Kansas in the, uh, what they call it now, Camping World Truck, whatever. <laughs> I don't even think this model is of the Camping World Truck, but of the, um, <clears throat> Gander Outdoor Truck or whatever. I don't even know if there's a difference, to be honest, but anyway, we're the, uh, the 12 truck today. Um, feels nice, feels like we've, uh, been like the 1 through 5 car a whole bunch lately, so we gotta... Halfway decent uh, strength of field here. I did not get enough practice, unfortunately. In fact, I've gotten almost no practice. So, <laughs> I did get to watch some video. Um, got to watch some videos, guys that know what they're doing. And, uh, you know, learned a little bit. But, not sure how it's going to go. <clears throat> Hopefully we can get ourselves a top 10. If not, you know, maybe try to get that 12th. And if not, <laughs> don't wreck everybody. You know, I I'm malleable. I can, I can change my expectations. <laughs> but, uh, I remember Kansas being a little weird last time I came here. A little, uh, more, uh, a little different from what I was expecting. I think, uh, I had it confused in my head with some other place, and so it didn't drive the way I expected last time, but uh, kind of get it. Um, we're going to take the high line this first lap, and then uh, once we're up to speed here, now we're taking the real lap, where we hopefully will get a decent time. Hit the apron. It's over. We're doomed. <laughs> Whatever. Um, not gonna be a great time, but, uh, that's what I get for not practicing, huh? Can't expect to come in here and hit your line perfectly without having done a single lap. Did I just admit I didn't do a single lap? Yes, I did. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, listen. <laughs> not ideal, but that's fine. We're gonna get some laps down now. That's what I was planning, is hopefully get some laps in after we put our qualifying laps in. Let's see where we are. Um, probably going to be midfield it looks like. Hopefully we're not the slowest of those who qualified. Um, I've actually fixed my controls so. Nah, we're good. We're uh, mid-pack. Like genuinely mid-pack. Oh my gosh, are we actually... Did everyone qualify? No way. No way everyone actually qualified, right? Wouldn't they, uh, oh, I guess they wouldn't appear if they hadn't done their lap yet. I'm looking at the thing and not the track. <laughs> no, that's not how it works. So, uh, a lot of people qualifying, though, they know that it's almost impossible to pass here. That's just the truth. Um, from what I can tell, anyway, it seems like you want to be on the bottom. Just these things aren't powerful enough to give you a reason to, you know, Maybe take this high line or something. I would love that. I love taking the high line. Go to somewhere like uh, Homestead. Take the top, like, you know, like Tyler Reddick, Kyle Larson, those kind of guys. But uh, you see that red bar get, uh, that number get bigger and bigger as you take this high line. Even if you get a little bit of a runoff, you don't make it back. So, kind of just have to take this line here. Kind of gets loose on the exit a little bit. Might want to keep that in mind. Um, let's see. Kind of want to do a little bit of practice, like entering lower or something. And see, uh, <laughs> excuse me. See how that affects truck like if I get stuck down here three wide or something if I have to enter like this I just want to lift a little bit looks like we're fine as long as you do that little bit of lift you're not gonna push up and hit the dudes so um, will we end up three wide at any point I don't know <laughs> I think guys might try to make it three wide but I just don't know if that guy in the on the top lane is gonna be able to keep up but I uh, haven't seen much yet either so, we'll find out. Looks like we're ready to go. 
Just about everyone qualified, but not everybody. Hmm. Eleven. So if we can hold our position, we'll be right about where we're supposed to be. Did I? Okay, yeah. I changed my steering ratio. Don't know how much tires are going to be a factor, but we'll think about that too. Um, don't think I'm going to be looking too much at my delta bar for a minute, but uh, we'll have it there ready for whenever I do. Um, two sets of tires. It's going to tell us here in a second. It's going to say, you have two sets of tires for this race. But I cheated and checked ahead of time. <laughs> We got two sets. It's really good to see so. everybody. Uh, I want to thank y'all for showing up to this race tonight. <laughs> Whoa! We got some friendly thank folks. <laughs> um. Yeah, we'll see how friendly it is after guys start running into each other. Maybe it'll be a clean race, but. Uh, Budweiser, the official beer at NASCAR, proud to present the Budweiser Drunk Driver of the Race Award. <laughs> Always qualified every single NASCAR Crafting World Truck Series event. Mm. Tonight at the number six, a wounded fossil with a terrible lap time. 31.716, about half a second off. <laughs> well, what am I here for? We already have a commentator that's better than me, so what am I doing here? <laughs> you know what? I call it We're about to get going. I hope the Colts win this um, we got some uh, Twitch channel advertising uh, in front of us. No. Check them out if you want an alternate view, I guess. Oh, hot, You're gonna want the natty, baby. Waiting for them to I'll go in that gas okay. pedal. Yeah. All right. Speeding doesn't matter on this first little start here to get out of the pits. If anyone was wondering, hey, uh, I want to catch the field because back. we are one to green. I want to say uh, good luck to uh, Roger D. Graham. Uh, he's going to need it. But he's really bad. That's it. Oh my god, are they, are they serious? Are they just. Is that a friend? Or are they just being <laughs> really sassy? I don't know. Uh, Chase Bell Pearson, number 14, but he's got a 17. Let's not get distracted. Really tiny, um, I think I forgot to mm, map a uh, mute button. So unfortunately, if they're being so loud, I can't really do anything about it. But. They'll probably be more entertaining than me, so there's that. Try to watch the leader, can't see him. Late start. I kind of missed it, I couldn't see him. That's a bummer. Hmm, that was a bad start. I think we're okay. Guys, not taking me three wide, yeah, thankfully. Ooh, it got light. Side by side. Man, he's cutting me close. That's not really appreciated. But whatever you say, my guy. Loose. Whew. Man, I should really not be doing these races without much practice. <laughs> uh, these cars do have aero. So uh, once those guys got in the line in front of me, I felt the car get tighter. Well, that's a thing to think about. Close to our outside. One of those times when uh, maybe a uh, another monitor would be nice. Keep an eye on him out there without having to look away. But uh, we're fine. He actually. Uh... Uh oh. Really <laughs> Wow. I guess that guy hit the wall or something. Okay, that guy's gonna force himself in. That's a pretty aggressive un cool move, but that's fine. He was just ready to wreck me. Uh, it's looser than I expected. Let's just say that. Hmm. I wonder 
if it's uh, the aerodynamics of these cars. I'll take this high line, see what happens. We're up top three wide, that's what's happening. Whew. This is intense. Probably not ideal to be up here, but that's what I'm doing. big bump there in the corner. I don't know if you saw that, but I did a nice big bump. This is probably bringing the tires off, and I'm probably going to regret this later, but hey, I got the uh, high side that I wanted. Fish out of water, I'll be honest. But uh, we're okay for now. Guy's still kind of getting loose. Hmm. I'm almost wondering if uh, the high line's not such a bad idea if we're getting arrow push, but sure looks like we're making more time up. Up here, or down there, rather. Ooh. What if we do this? What happens then? Nothing. <laughs> We're probably gonna end up past. Uh, loose on entry. But he's too close to clear myself. <laughs> I don't want to make that decision. I'm getting tapped. Why? I don't know. I recognize the guy that's say that, but. Oh, I hit the apron. I'm not racing too well. Get a run off and maybe get some distance. I know this guy for being aggressive in the past, so. And uh, judging by the tap I got from him, I'm guessing that has uh, not changed. But, okay, we got some space. He almost, oh man, he almost like came up and hit the wall there. Got another guy on the wall, is that what's happening there? Ooh, they're dropping like flies. Let me not be the next guy to hit the wall. I'm gonna be honest, I kind of like that high line. I feel like maybe that might uh, be a thing. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Watch that last lap time. So I'd love to have that up. So obviously slower through the corner, but does it give us a run? No, I think it's slower overall. I think you want to use it for passing, maybe, so you can get that run on a guy, and so you can get the nose on him. That might be the way to use that. Hmm. Come on, car. Ooh. Got loose on the corner. That's interesting. Is this thing going to get more loose as the race goes on? Oof, arrow push. I have no idea how this thing runs on long runs, so... We're going to find out in the middle of the storm. <laughs> but boy, at least that makes it exciting, huh? As long as we can hold on to it. A little 
little bit of blocking perhaps up there. Let me take the high line here and see how that works out on three and four. Kind of like that in three and four, I'll be honest. Unless that was is that the corner I got loose off of? <laughs> Giving myself false information. so loose when you go low. Alright, well. <laughs> Learning the hard way. Okay. We still got a gap, though. I guess we're alright. I just like this high line, man. I feel like I can be more consistent up here as this guy does a weird slide job. Is he about to hit the wall? Oh my god. It's pretty scary. Oh, that was a horrible push. Oh man, I'm glad I felt that early on or else I would have been in that wall. All of a sudden it wasn't turning when I was entering the corner. And uh, believe it or not, you want to turn. Turn good. I almost wish I had like a 14 to 1 steering ratio so I can catch these slides a little better. But I don't know if that's even what I would really want. We're in 11th, that's the 12 car, 12th truck. So we're doing what we're supposed to be doing. Let's just try to focus on. Uh, Getting that last lap green every time. That guy's on the wall. <laughs> Maybe that'll be how we get our spots. Yeah, it looks like everyone's kind of moving to that high line. Go high. Don't be that guy. That's how you lose spots. It's like. Uh oh, got another one. Now I'm gonna have to compromise my corner. Whew! I don't want. I don't want to hold the bomb. Making passes though. Yeah, the high line's the place to be now. It looks like. Wow, that was real. That's really interesting how the track evolved like that. Early on, it was very obvious you wanted to be on the bottom, but. Uh, now it's all about the top lane. And you gotta learn as you go along. You gotta see what's happening. I guess it's uh, the heat on the track maybe it's going on or just uh, how the tires are wearing that makes one line or the other better. But um, see if we can do this better than uh, some of these other guys. Maybe get some spots or I can <laughs> nearly wreck it off of the corner. Keep an eye on that guy behind us to see how uh, how he is faring. Spotter says he's real in the end. It's not really what I wanted to hear. What does that mean for us? Does that mean I've been pushing it too hard? can just keep that uh, number in the green it's loose killing my runoff by doing that this is where practice really would have come in handy because I would have known that the high side's where you want to be later in the run and I would have been able to practice keeping it straight but I'm making my mistakes now instead of the mistakes I would make in practice this guy's obviously catching us so I'll let him by if he gets here he might have trouble though if he gets into our arrow Got a 
big gap back to uh guy behind him. So feeling good about a top ten. Oh he's slide driving. Isn't he? Is he just gonna ram us? Or is he gonna admit defeat? Okay. Some guys admit defeat like that. Some guys they just floor it until they door you and then uh you both suffer, so I'm glad he was the uh, former. It's going to be real hard for him to, to get by me unless I make a mistake, which, um, you know, maybe it won't be that hard for him, because <laughs> I'm liable to make said mistake. Got a long way to go in the race still, too. That's something to keep in mind. Did he burn his tires off? I think just making that move made his tires really unhappy. It's fascinating. Because now he's falling back, you see that? It's back 0.5, unless he just hit the wall and stuff or something and I didn't see it. It's very interesting. Wow. That's something for us to note as well. Maybe we uh, pick our spots to try to pass if we even get that chance carefully. This is work though. This is some work to keep this thing from out from hitting the wall. Because it's trying to spin and at the same time you're trying to not touch the wall while getting as close as possible. And, uh, that makes for a difficult racetrack. Ooh, lots of, uh, lots of careful foot motions. <laughs> Interesting. So I learned something there. Um, before I was trying to keep the pedal to the floor as much as possible, but it seems like if I just lift and then keep it kind of 90% or so, it can help keep the truck more stable, and I think it's actually better for us. I'm going to try that. I say we're going to try that, and then I kind of pushed it a little too hard. Okay. Just, we got some people fighting up here, it looks like, maybe. Maybe we can reel them in a bit. that time, but it's going to be just about equal. Mm, went a little too high. Had to lift. So I hit the wall. And that kind of messed up my uh, rhythm through that whole corner. Try to avoid doing that as much as possible. So that was a whole tenth we lost that lap. He's in the wall. Can we get by him without losing time? We got a slide job. Oh. Get away from me. <laughs> He's calling in the tight because he didn't like that because I didn't do it very well. job and I had to pull it left. Okay, that killed us. But 
but uh, okay. we're fine. We're fine. Oh boy, that's a one X. That's fine. We saved it. Tires are very unhappy at the moment, but uh, hit that's the wall in front of us, and so we had the dart to the left. Yeah, and well, uh, really good shot there. Man, the car just about lost it. Oh my god, there's a caution. I don't know if I like that. This has been intense. This is going to be a short run to the finish, too. I think you have to take tires here, but then again, I think there's going to be guys with so few laps, they're probably going to go for it. Man, I'm out of breath. I'll do it in the next race, though. Hmm. So we're obviously going to be taking tires. Try to get a quick pit stop here. Almost a black flag. I think we're fine. Too far right? Yes. The race is ruined. That's all it takes. We reached the box a little quicker than I thought, and then uh, was too far to the right. Man, we're gonna be way in the back now. a lot of ground there. Hey, it took a, a two-week break, and uh, that's the first time I've had to pit, <laughs> so guess I should have thought about that, too, coming back. I can't remember how to pit. <laughs> Let's see where we are, though. Might not be uh, insurmountable. It's not like we're uh, last, so... Maybe we won't even want to be up front anyway, in case they start crashing each other. Did we have guys take uh, no tires? I think everyone took uh, at least two, it looks like. I imagine it was probably uh, everyone took four. Oh boy. So we're going to be headed back to the bottom, I guess. And we're going to get lots of three wide and nonsense on this restart, I guarantee you. 78, 71. 69, 58. Wow, we really burned off those rears. That's good to know. I don't know how you have a better right front. Because you're running the bottom the whole time. Huh. Almost makes me wonder if uh, you would want to do like a bottom and... One and two and top and three and four or something. Like one of those, like split it. Not off the start, obviously. You know, everyone's going to want to be on the bottom off the start, but. Uh... That was weird. We had like a 4X touching that guy, I guess, but we really didn't at all. I wonder if one of us has. I guess it, it would have had to have been him because my connection's good. I wonder if he has like a bad connection or something and. No clue. I, re I really shouldn't have been a 4x in any, in any case. Even if we did touch there, that's not 4x worthy. You have to really bop someone to get a 4x. I don't know. That's strange. Unfortunate too, because I don't think we deserved it. But, but whatever. Maybe we're about to get some more incidents, incident points, coming up here soon. At least we're uh, on the bottom. Oh, am I nervous though? Because uh, this is going to be. This is going to be dangerous. Hopefully, I can see the leader this time. Get a better start. Really checking up.
There's always the chance someone behind us plows through us too on the on the start, depending on how it goes. There's always a chance for okay, nonsense. This series can have a bit of a reputation too. Get ready, going green. Try to keep an eye on them. Both car is off, time to do your job. Weird start. I don't know if that was intentional, someone starting and stopping or not, but... Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Oh, we made it through. <laughs> oh, my God. How did that even happen? That guy's smoking. Wow, that was right about where we were going to be. So remember what I said about uh, maybe it was a good thing we didn't want to be up there? Maybe that was true. But well, now we're going to get a green white checkered. So uh, that's how series get reputations, I guess. By um, the reputation being backed up. <laughs> how did that even happen, though? It looked like they just exploded. Like they entered the corner. It wasn't even in the middle of the corner. It looked like in the entrance of the corner. That's why I kind of wasn't expecting it. But uh, that guy's uh, leaving with his broken truck. So. Oh boy, weird. Yeah, <laughs> we'll have to see through the incidents. I guess how that even happened. It really just looked like they exploded. And thankfully, I was able to dive down and avoid that guy just barely. Didn't look like I was gonna make it for a second. Moron motor now. Got guys uh, mm -hmm. pitting for damage, it looks like. So we're going to go up further a little bit more. Mm -hmm. We might uh, have other guys that are damaged yeah, yeah, that are not pitting. And they're going to be slow on the start. And uh, boy, is that just going to make it even more fun. Slow guys right in front of us. This time we're going to be on the outside. And that's bad one because... The bottom lane's fast on fresh tires, and two, it's going to be harder to dodge if uh, more cars explode in front of us. I feel like this uh, scheme in front of us is very apt. This could be like the poster image for what this series is <laughs> sometimes. Some of these caution lines and then skull and crossbones. That's how it's feeling. But uh, we'll get one chance at this green-white checkered. If they explode again right off the start, then the field is frozen. And that's where you finish. Unreal. It's just uh, like the real-life stuff, except we don't get unlimited green-white checkers. They couldn't trust us with that, or else we'd be here the rest of our lives sometimes. But uh, we'll get this one chance. We'll see if we can make up a couple of spots I lost on pit road. see we might not be on the outside depending on uh, how many people maybe pulled off to the side or pit let's see what it says now this will probably be the uh, final organization it looks like we are in fact in 14th so we'll be on the outside hmm. we'll see what happens Didn't do anything with the tires because we just went down the straightaway. So they're essentially fresh still. Here comes the kit. Can we rock into one again, pretty speed thing? We've got a cone down, down in the road. Oh, the humanity! Still nervous time, but uh, if we can make it through, even if that happens again, if we can make it through, maybe we'll be uh, near no, the top we'll, 10 or so. Clean up the shit in fifth place. <sighs> Gonna have to remember with these cold tires too, it might get loose. Um, kind of mid to, uh, to, to exit oh, a corner. Get 
I hope we have a better start this time. These uh, start and stop, stutter stop starts are a big headache. Lots can go wrong when that ends up happening. You hope for a straightforward, simple restart. But that's just too much to ask, isn't it? <laughs> Hey, uh, Jordan, can you give us a countdown? I want to thank y'all for being here tonight. No matter what happens, <laughs> this guy. Check it out, so we'll all have a lot of fun tonight. So let's have more fun. Should be able to see a little better so from the, the outside lane, at least. To see the leader. Three, see when we can start going. Since we don't have a bunch of trucks right in front of our vision. I wonder when he's going to go. Nobody knows. He doesn't even know. He, he's going to make it on your Ten. Nine. Car is off. Time to do your job. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> well, we got a better start than the guy in front of us, but we had to lift off. Oh boy, don't get loose below me, guys. Close. Let's take the high line here. Get inside. Ah, here we go. Want that bottom lane? That guy I'm familiar with, for all the wrong reasons, just tap that guy out of the way. Reputation being withheld here. Wrecking on the final corner. <sighs> well, that sucks. <sighs> we passed the line. God damn it. That was a finish. Well, we've just rolled across the line. And 16th. Well, that's how the truck series works. <laughs> Can't lift on the final corner. That's just how it is. I just, uh, <laughs> I just let the car roll at the end there. There was, it was gonna take more time to turn it around and uh, try to get it going in the right direction than it would be to just do that. So what happened here? So that guy just straight up goes up and hits that guy. He runs into the back of him. I couldn't see exactly where it was. We just get bodied by another guy that's not lifting. I guess we kind of were up going up into the wall. So I had to make a decision, left or right, and uh, kind of tried to make a quick move around the outside, and there was really just nowhere for us to go. That was a track blocker. And we got eaten up by the people behind us. And I had no control at this point, so. <laughs> kind of just gassed it up. And sadly roll across the line. Uh, this is why I avoid this truck series sometimes. But whatever. Um, the, let's see, the last guy is on the Wii lap. So that stinks, but... 12th car and 16th, so not not too bad. Uh, a bit frustrating, but whatever. Um, we'll watch the uh, incidents leading up to our uh, final death. <laughs> According to this, uh, oh, hold on, that's kind of loud for some reason. Let me turn that down. So. We got guys being pushed into the wall. Lap three. They're probably damage destroyed for the rest of the race. Probably. Uh, yeah, I remember seeing him lap down, so that ruined his race right there. Wow, big surprise. We're seeing this 13 a lot. So he gets into the wall. Uh, 
tiny touch on entry, that was nothing. Some more wall, that's us going around and giving them plenty of room because you don't know if they're going to pull it off and get loose or something and dive towards the inside. Got to give a wide berth a lot of the time. That's some wall collection. Whoa, they cut it close there too. Making it by them. There's us again, benefiting. All for not in the end, unfortunately, but... Wow, look who it is again. 13, running into someone, cutting it down off the corner for no reason. Some bump drafting. Looks like the guy got loose out of the corner. And that's a wall. Well, it's the second time we've seen this guy into the wall, but I think that was a fake hit, actually. It didn't look like he really hit it, it was just a... Uh, it predicted he was going to be there. That time, well, that's for real. He's really in that wall. Again, huh? Making it three wide. It's pretty aggressive for, what is that, 11th place? I guess it worked, though, so who am I to talk? That guy kind of just ran into the wall on the straightaway. Glad he did, too. His hater run on us. More familiar faces. This is a pack of danger here. Everyone's all over each other. Four wide guys in the grass. Oh boy. It's probably what most of the field looked like because this is this was a pretty intense race. Guy on the wall. I think he was the guy that was in front of us, wasn't he? And we were uh Trying to figure a way to get past him at some point. Yeah, here we come. Okay, and this was my bad slide job. <laughs> so, he, I had way too much momentum. I kind of clipped the apron there. And that made my uh, momentum way too slow. And he's kind of just running into us, giving us no room because I guess he didn't like that. Or maybe he's doing some side drafting. I don't know what the plan was, but and he uh, serves it to us right back. Fair enough. Except he hit the wall when he did it. And uh, got us in the grass. Because uh, I didn't want to run into him, so I kind of like pulled to the left. And uh, the car is so loose out of the corner that even that tiny pull to the left just brought me all the way down there. See, I pulled just to the left a little bit there, and then the truck's like, yep, I'm going down here now. Little did I know that was not going to be the last time I was going to be in the grass this race. Slide jobs. That one was worse than mine. It's tough to pull off right, that's for sure. So that's the aftermath of. Uh oh. <laughs> Slide job, but that was even worse than ours. Is this the caution? I believe this was the caution, considering that is a truck on its top. Let's see, that one's slowing down. Yep, that was the, the caution that caused the chaos at the end. Well, the second to last caution. As we're, uh, ooh, as we're coming into the pits and we got guys running into each other. So let's watch how we mess this up. So we had this, like, line of trucks in front of us that was kind of blocking my stall. And, uh, honestly, I'm kind of disappointed in my crew chief app thing because it kind of, like, did a weird not countdown. I was kind of expecting it to be a little more smooth, but... Yeah, I kind of drove into my pit crew there. I mean, come on though, I'm in my box. I feel like that should be fine. That's kind of dumb, whatever. Oh, now they can move back. <laughs> I don't know, that's super borderline, but you know, it just matters what the race, what the uh, what iRacing says. But I uh, found out later, I probably didn't even want to be up there anyway, because about P11, P12 is where I was, and then this is how they exploded. Ooh, and I dodge it. <laughs> so, what happens here? He's on the outside of him. He, he tries to clear himself, and he wasn't clear. And then we go, yikes. Right by him. I think where we're going slow enough at that point, you can maneuver the truck a little bit better. So, we actually didn't gain all that many spots, unfortunately, because 
a lot of the guys that were in it kind of kept it straight anyway. But we gained uh, on the guys that were really broken and really out of shape. Uh, I got some expired trucks or soon to be expired trucks that are blowing their engine because of their damage from that. And then this was the final lap. Wow, familiar face again. Oh uh, yeah, I remember that happened right in front of us. Running into that guy. Both those guys are some trouble this race. And then uh, we were fine. We were good to uh, make it to the end, but then they uh, wrecked in front of us. So what caused it? Six just came up. Oh, it's because he hit the apron. He hit the apron right there, and then he pushed up, and then hit the nine. Nine went sideways. Thirteen just plowed in the back of him. So, what am I thinking here? I'm thinking I want to get past these guys and I don't want to lose a bunch of spots by hitting the brakes. And here's the thing. If I hit the brakes to avoid this, I'm getting destroyed from behind because this guy's right there. And they're not lifting, so I can't lift. So we got this stack up here and I have to make a decision. And uh, honestly, I don't have as much of a decision as you might think because in the corner, going nearly full speed, I can't just pull down to the left. I don't have that much control over where I'm going. So I have to make the decision, pull to the right. And uh, if I had made the decision a little earlier, maybe I'm okay, but I'm trying to gather as much information as I can before I make that decision. And I kind of pull up and I have to do what I can to get around. And I'm hoping I can just crank the wheel to the left and get it started again, but uh, tap the wall. This guy who wasn't lifting comes up bumps into us and uh, no control after that got too out of shape and so from here I'm just like okay well <laughs> gas it up because I knew I was going to be in last anyway because that was the whole field that was passing us so we somehow got the shortest end of the shortest stick <laughs> we're going through there we've already lost all that time see we're heading at the wrong angle maybe I could have tried to guide it a little better but we're last on track so world's worst pit entry was not during our pit stop but rather right here or so <laughs> and that's how our race ended not too great but that's kind of how this uh, series goes it seems like a lot of the time Guys have to make aggressive moves and blah, 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 blah. So, hope it was entertaining at least. Uh, hopefully we'll have some better luck next time. But uh, I'll see you then.